Hello, I'm Jennifer Davenport, and in this video, I'm going to give you a store tour and see some of the new things that have come in for the summer, so stay tuned. One of the first things I want to show you is one of my favorite tables. I really like things mixed in a room. This one is very industrial and super cool. I love round tables and especially I love to place them if I'm going to have two chairs in a room. I like a round table in between them because that really helps to nestle everything together. And again, I'm probably going to decorate in threes. If I have a lamp, then I'm probably going to have a greenery and then some type of little figurine. I love lighting. I think it's a work of art, whether it's a lamp or whether it's a chandelier. This one just came in. This one's not online, so don't give me a hard time, but this one is beautiful with a wood beads, a white tone. I really can't think of a room that this would not look good in. One of the new things we got in was this really cool coffee table. It slides down and closes, lifts back up, so you can also use it as a table to eat when you watch TV. This is a floral arrangement that is probably one of my favorites because I love cherry blossoms. I grew up near Washington, D.C., so we used to always go to the cherry blossom parade. But what I wanted to show you, I have a lot of you guys ask me for containers. This is one we do have online. This is a stoneware, a vintage vase, beautiful details. And when I'm choosing a vase to make my florals, um, I like to choose ones that are either glass, mercury glass, kind of not much color so that the highlight is the flowers. Now another thing I do around the store for everybody is I put little signs around that have design tips and this one reads when, I don't have my glasses on, when choosing paint always compare the paint color you like up against a white piece of paper and this will show you the intensity of the color. So I try to put little notes around to help people. When we first opened the store, this was one of the very first light fixtures I chose. We have two of them above the cash wrap. Um, again, I kind of love the rustic with the glam, but I think this pendant would look cute in a lot of different areas of your home. So here's another wreath that we got in. I love it. Daisies make me so happy. And I know last time we did a video and I showed you a wreath that sold out really quick, but hopefully that won't happen with this one. But what I love about it is it's got a twig background on it. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like on my front door. But you could also lay it on a table and put a large candle in the middle and you have a really sweet centerpiece. This end table is one of my staples in design. In fact, I'll show you a picture where we used it in the design. I like it because of its size. I like it because it's rustic and it just really flows well. What I usually do is put a very large lamp on top, add some accessories. This is another one of my little favorites. This is Mary Gregory Art. I have a bigger one in my home. It's the, actually the white barn, but this makes a cute gift. It can sit on a bookshelf or sit on a table just like I put it. This is another light fixture we just got in. Has a little bit of a French feel to it. Again, you're gonna hear a thing with me, but it's kind of rustic here and a little bit of glam, but it works. I think the chandelier would look beautiful in a bedroom or a dining room or a breakfast nook. Now, here's a new piece of art we got in last week. I love it. The detail is stunning. Then, this is probably one of my favorite clocks. I've used it in a lot of design. It's just neat and different and timeless. A lot of people are downsizing either their empty nesters or maybe they're young couples that are starting um, an apartment and they're ready to decorate. So I chose these tables because of their size and because they nest inside of each other. So you could either always keep it under and then when you have company, you have an extra table or you can use one to put by a chair in a bedroom and keep the other one by the couch. 
So this is our dining room section. We display things on the table. In fact, one of the things I really like to do when I, even when we first started to open the store, I didn't want to pack the store with stuff. What I wanted was to create vignettes because I wanted to help people when they come into the store, they can see a vignette, how we place chairs, what kind of table looked good with it, and they can visualize in their own mind how that would look in their home. So again, that's why we like to set the table as well. I love, this is a floral I've made, but I absolutely love these concrete uh, candlesticks. They are super heavy, but I really think they make a big statement. And then of course, if you've watched any of my videos, you know these are my very favorite dishes. They are stoneware, but what I love about them is they go from the oven, microwave, dishwasher, freezer and they don't make scratches with your fork and they don't chip. I love them and I usually like to do white so that throughout the season I can pair it with different dishes and these are always my staple dishes. Here's another table that I love. I have it in my own house. And one of the reasons I like it, again, I guess I lean a little bit towards um, rustic, but what I like about this table is that it's a metal top and this table is so heavy. So if you've got kids or dogs running around, no worries about it getting knocked over. Another new item that we got is this wall mount clock. Super cool, industrial looking, would look great in an office, a bonus room, or a boys room. I've got some more art to show you. These brand new love them i'm a bird person though but i really like the details of them the frames are a little bit distressed and it makes it look like these have been done on old paper with a linen mat very simple but very elegant this is a lamb that i actually ordered for me for my house because i thought i was going to put it in the bedroom but i actually need a table by my chair but what I love about this lamp is the patina on it, a little bit of a brushed brass. The detail is just very pretty, very elegant, but the floor lamp itself is just not too big and intrusive. The one thing that I've been really excited to show you is the new artwork behind me. These, oh, they're beautiful. They're watercolor sage, but the size and the price is so perfect because a lot of times my clients struggle with what to put above the couch. And usually the artwork is too small or there's too many little things going on, but these three prints would be absolutely perfect above a couch. Another coffee table centerpiece idea is this mango and glass hurricane. Now I set a little teeny candle ring in there and put a candle inside, but you could also pour sand in there and maybe put two or three candles, or you could find a large wreath like I just did with the daisy wreath and just put a wreath around it, little sand in and a candle, and you've got a beautiful centerpiece. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of the things that I showed you are available in our online store, and I'm gonna put the links in the description below, and you might find some other things you wanna bring into your home. It's super easy to find our website. It's jdsallabouthome.com. You guys stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.